Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the background colour of a photo using Adobe Photoshop 2021. Okay on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one image which I downloaded from Unsplash. I'll put a link to this same image in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and we will drag and drop that picture into Photoshop. So that will open up the image and our first objective is to get rid of this background. So there's quite a few different ways that you can do that. We've got like this sort of a yellowy style color and we want to get rid of that. So let's unlock the layer first of all because when you drag an image into Photoshop like that the, layer, the first layer will be locked. So we're going to unlock it and there's a couple of ways to select um, content inside of uh, this image, this person, right? So one easy way to do that is to go to select and then we will select uh, subject here we'll click subject and when we do that Photoshop will analyze this image and then do a selection around that person now most of this selection is going to be pretty good but there's going to be a few errors that we need to tidy up uh, so let's go ahead and do that let me show you how to do that first so I'm going to hold down the alt key and that allows me to zoom in onto this image using my mouse wheel and I'm going to zoom into the top here because I can see where most of the problems are and you can hold down the space bar and use your left mouse button to pan the canvas so you can see, right? So here you can see there's a problem here and over here as well. So I'm being quite picky, but we want this to be accurate work. And we can see over here the fingernail and the fingers missing a little bit. So we need to improve this selection. So Photoshop's done its done the best it can, you could say. And we're going to go over to this tool here and we're going to use the quick selection. So when we click on quick selection, we can adjust the size of the brush so we can make it slightly bigger, making it around 12 size, right? So you see it's not massive. And we can add or remove to the selection here. So we can add to the selection or we can remove from the selection using these two options. But if you click on one of them, this one right now is to remove. It's got a little minus there in the corner and this one's got a little plus sign. So if you want to switch between them easily, if I move my mouse cursor, let's say over here, when I hold down the shift key on my keyboard, or you can see that up here as I'm holding down the shift key I can switch between adding and removing and we're going to leave it um, uh, we're going to hold down the shift key so we can add to the selection and we're going to draw over this hand part here and that will add to that selection right and we want to remove from selection and add just to tidy this up a little bit so let's hold down the alt key and we can zoom right in here so we can get in quite close and our brush is a little bit big so we're going to reduce its size maybe to like around five point and we want to add to this part here uh, sorry, we want to remove from this part here. So we're going to use the remove part, uh, remove um, quick selection. We're going to use the remove element here. And then we can hold down the shift key and pan down to the bottom here. And we want to remove from here as well, right? So we can tie this up and we can clean up this image a little bit more afterwards. But we just want to get a rough, well, pretty accurate selection, but it doesn't need to be perfect. So something like this looks pretty good. And we've fixed up that area there and now we want to fix in between his hand so we're going to remove from this selection here as well and this tool this is like the quick selection tool so it's analyzing the pixels and what you're trying to select so it's going to do a pretty good job so that looks that looks okay and we could remove this here as well i guess like this little bit here like this we didn't really need to do that probably will leave that there so we'll just hold down the shift key and we can add that selection back in it's not really going to matter too much that little bit there but we've got a bit of this finger missing so we want to use the shift key and add to this selection right so we're adding to this selection around the edge here so we'll hold down the shift key and we can add to the selection so as default i've got the minus one selected and when i'm holding down the shift key that will add to it and when i'm not holding down the shift key it will remove from it right so that looks pretty good remember when we zoom out on this image you're not really going to notice too much of that but we should still try and improve our selection where we can uh, and this will take a few seconds to do this right so this one we want to hold down the shift key and add to the selection so we're just going to add to this selection here by holding down the shift key this part all here looks fine and down here we want to remove from the selection remove this part here and we'll get this little bit in here in the corner so we need to sometimes you need to zoom right in and you need to reduce your brush size get it right down to a very small size so that you can go in between this gap here and get that part of the selection so 
I reckon this is going to be pretty good. This selection now around the dress and at the bottom and around the sides of the, this little button down here seems to be selected okay. So that's a pretty good selection. So now we want to remove the background and we can do that by using a layer mask. So we've got a selection here. You can see the little marching ants around the image and we're going to click on this tool here to create a layer mask. So I'm going to click add layer mask and now you can see the background has been removed. All right, so we've got no more background. If we click on the um, main image, we've got the main image here and we've got the, um, the, the layer mask here. Now with this layer mask, if you look at it carefully, anything that is black in this layer mask is removing from the image and anything that is white is going to be kept in the image, right? So you don't really see the black in here, but it is, that's what the whole point of the layer mask itself, right? You can um, add and remove from this layer mask as well. So you can see over here, I've got the color swatches. So the foreground is set to black and the background one here is set to white. So remember, white would add and black would remove. So just as an example, I'm going to grab the paintbrush. This is our little paintbrush tool. Let's just make this uh, uh, brush a bit bigger. Let's make it a bit bigger than that. So I just want to demonstrate just so you understand. So right now I'm painting with black. And as I paint with black, I'm removing from the selection. Right, removing from it. So I'm going to press Control Z to undo that. If I switch it over so that the white one's at the top, I can then add some of this background back again. Right, So I'm painting in some of the background again. Uh, that that we removed from the layer mask. So really, I'm painting over here. If I paint over here, I'm painting white, but that's adding to the uh, layer mask here and putting content back into the image. So we can press Control Z and Control Z to undo that. And this is our transparent version of our image. So we could save this as a PNG file. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to File, Export as here, and we'll select PNG file. And we'll have a transparent image. So that we select PNG. Right, and we'll keep transparency there, transparency, and we'll click export, and then we can go to my desktop, and let's go into here, and we just call this transparent-01. So now we have a transparent image, but what if we want to add a background color? So let's just click on the move tool for the second, and we want to add a layer below this layer. Below this one, we want to add a layer below. So we can hold down the control key and then click on the layer tool here to add a layer. And when we click it, it will always add it below when you're holding down the control key. If you click on this layer and then click on the uh, add layer here, it will always add it above. So when you hold down the control key, it will always add the layer below. So that's what we want. We want a layer below. And there's a few different ways to do this. So we can go ahead and use the eyedropper tool. And right now we can see like these two color swatches here. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and we can pick a color from this image. So let's say we pick, I don't know, maybe like a... Um, this dark sort of brown color. Can you see there's a dark brown color um, in the swatch? You can see that over here for the foreground. And what we can do is go to make sure this bottom layer is selected. Then we can go to edit and fill or press shift and F. And then we want to fill it with the foreground color, which will be this brown color here. And we'll click OK. And now we've got this brown background. So that's one way to do it. I'm going to click on this layer and I'm going to add another new layer. So there'll be another transparent layer above and I'm going to hide this bottom one and click on the one above. And then we can go to the, let's switch to the other, uh, the, the, the other swatch here. We can click on it and we can pick any color we want. So let's say we want like quite a bright orange color, like almost like a goldy sort of orange color. Something maybe a little bit lighter like this, like this. And we want to use that as the background. We can click OK, click on the layer. That's the color we want. Click on the paint bucket tool and click on the background and then you have the orange version which i think looks better than the brown one to be fair let's just check it that's the brown that's the orange i think the orange one looks a lot better and you can go and do other things in photoshop and you can manipulate this image you could even change the color of the dress if you wanted to do that maybe we'll show that show you that in another tutorial uh, but for now let's go ahead and click save as and we just save our work quickly because we've done some work here let's just save this and then let's export it let's go to file export and we do export as and this time because it's um got an orange background there's no transparency we might as well save it as a jpeg file we'll leave it at 100 percent compression for now and we'll just call this um change let's just call this change color background because that was the objective of our tutorial and let's save this okay we can go ahead and close this and let's just save the file 
just minimize it and we can see our original file that we started with we had this sort of brown sort of color and now we've got this bright orange version so we can see the image looks still pretty good there's not much artifacts or any problems in here i would say a little bit of the hair is missing from this image there's a tiny little bit of the hair but apart from that looks pretty good right and then you've got a transparent version as well so if you ever want to use that on some artwork or something else then you've got a transparent version maybe you want to put it up maybe this is some artwork for um an e-commerce store and you've got the dress there and you want to remove the background and just have a white background then this is one of the techniques that you can use to do that okay let's go ahead and close this we'll close this down and we'll close this picture that's the end of this tutorial that's showing you how to change the background color of a photo using adobe photoshop 2021 Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 700 free video tutorials. That's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.